you do. Roger, thank you. Well, it seems that many people chose to stay indoors tonight to escape the winter weather. But in Gorham, those making it out are prepared after weeks of snowy condition. That's where we find WMTW News 8's Courtney Sturgeon with a check of conditions there. Courtney? Well, Steve, things are finally starting to clear up here in Gorham. Just a few flakes falling here and there. A lot of people, as you mentioned before, uh, staying indoors tonight. We barely saw anyone out as many people have ex been experiencing this weather for the past week. They're ready to get inside. It's given the snowplow drivers a break, though, uh, a much needed one at that, to clear all of this snow away. And that's one thing they're getting to tonight. Drivers we spoke with say roads were especially difficult to drive tonight as the snow continued to fall late into the evening. It made for a messy commute in most places. What's making conditions even worse, of course, is the extreme cold that's freezing a lot of what's coming down. And many people said they had to layer up extra thick and had to start clearing off their cars early tonight. No, I just have what I got on. I got my gaiters, my boots, and my winter stuff, and I drive a Jeep. I won't get stuck. Every time we make a stop at a store or something on our way home, I have to, like, click these with the windshield and, like, get all the ice that's from in it. Like, I just did this 15 minutes ago at my last stop. Because the only reason we're even out here. Now, this uh, snowbank, rather, behind me just continues to grow tonight. We've seen many plows dumping some snow here. And a lot of people in the parking lots tonight have just been running their cars. Luckily, uh, the silver lining, I suppose, of this snowfall is that it's a very light snow. So just by warming up your car, some of it is coming off, just melting off naturally. As I said, that's the small silver lining we're seeing tonight after yet another significant snowfall. Live in Gorham, Courtney Sturgeon, WMTW. MTW News 8.